Hey guys, how are you doing? In this episode, we are going to see how to downgrade iOS 26 to iOS 18 on iPhone and iPad. Go to the IPSW.me website and download the latest supported firmware, the iOS software for your iPhone model or iPad model. And before doing any sort of upgrade to the latest beta version, whether it is developer beta or public beta, my suggestion is to take backup of your important photos, videos and apps data or an iTunes backup locally stored in your computer and archived so that we can use it in the future if there is something goes wrong. So first we have to put the device in recovery mode to do that press and release the volume up button and then volume down button once and then press and hold the side button immediately till you see the computer with cable connecting icon on your iphone this is my iphone 12 i have installed ios 26 develop a beta 1 the steps are same even after the public beta release you have to follow the same steps and if you are using mac computer you need to open the finder app to see the prompt that says there is a problem in your iphone and it will automatically show that the iphone is in recovery mode in this step don't use the restore iphone because it will delete all the data on your iphone so as a first step we are going to try to Keep all the data intact on your iOS device and then restore only the system software file. So in this step, we have to choose the update. But before clicking on the update, make sure to press and hold the option key on your Mac keyboard. If it is Windows computer, you need to click and hold the shift key. Then it will open the finder or my computer browser window. And then you need to select the first step downloaded IPSW file that is stored in your downloads folder. Now the file will be extracted in your computer and it will be pushed to your iPhone and you will see the progress on your iPhone. For In some cases, for me in iPhone 12, I keep on seeing some error uh, when I tried several different methods. Uh, it didn't help for me. So the only option will be like, I have to lose all the data on my iPhone so that you know if the backup I already have in my computer, in iTunes only, that can be used to restore on my iPhone 12. So in some latest Windows computers, you may have to use Apple Devices app instead of the iTunes if it is not compatible. But with Mac computer, you can use the Finder app to do all these process of restoring the iOS file to your iPhone or iPad. So here you can see the error I was talking about it all of a sudden you know the progress was going fine and within few seconds after the restore process started i see the iphone could not be updated an unknown error occurred 68 i tried changing my usb c cable to a new one and i also tried changing the usb port from one usb c port to different on my computer on my mac studio these are the basic troubleshooting steps you should also try restart your computer once and then try to do the same step of putting your iphone in a recovery mode and then you need to do the same steps on your my computer or finder window on apple devices app or itunes if it is Mac, then it is a finder window. If nothing helps and you are stuck in recovery mode, then you may try the third party apps like Tenorshare Reiboot. This will help you to, you know, it's a free option to enter or exit recovery mode for all other utilities. You need to pay for that. But as a free tool, you can, of course, exit your iPhone from the recovery mode so that the iOS 26 installed version will start to function normally. So the only option if you didn't have any backup already taken then it is you know impossible to roll back or downgrade to iOS 18 in such cases if you decided to stay in iOS 26 and receive the upcoming beta to get some better bug fixes then the exit recovery mode will help otherwise we need to go for the restore option and this will completely flash your iPhone it will push the entire iOS file and delete all the existing data then you can you know restore the backup if you already have or manually you know restore the data that you have uploaded while you were using the iOS 26 beta version so these are the two possible you know uh, options we have so for people who don't have error it will be smooth downgrade from iOS 26 to iOS 18 if you find this video useful don't forget to give a thumbs up for more useful iPhone iPad and Mac related tips and tricks don't forget to subscribe have a wonderful day